history revealer here. It was 1928, and Alexander Fleming, a Scottish bacteriologist, returned to his messy lab after a two-week vacation. He noticed something strange. One of his Petri dishes, which had been left out, was contaminated by mold. But here's the kicker. The bacteria around the mold were dead. That mold turned out to be Penicillium notatum. Fleming immediately recognized its potential, but he wasn't great at promoting his discovery. For years, his work went unnoticed. It wasn't until the 1940s that a team of researchers, including Howard Florey, Ernst Boris Chain, and Norman Heatley, managed to mass-produce penicillin. Fun fact, they even used bedpans and milk churns during their early attempts. Here's a little-known twist. The first patient treated with penicillin in 1941 was a police officer with a severe infection. Penicillin worked wonders, but they ran out before he was fully cured, and tragically, he passed away. However, the experiment proved penicillin's life-saving potential. During World War II, penicillin production ramped up, earning it the nickname, the Wonder Drug. By D-Day in 1944, it saved countless soldiers' lives. And here's a quirky fact. The mold that produced penicillin originally came from a cantaloupe in Illinois. Without penicillin, infections from minor cuts could have been fatal for soldiers and civilians alike. How's that for a game changer? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and visit historyrevealer.com for exclusive content. Thanks for watching.